Hi, I'm April from Fermiculture Healthy Recipes, and today I'm answering the question, what's the easiest fermented food for me to make? So if you are new to fermented food and you're not really sure um, how to kind of dip your toe in the water, you might want to know what's the easiest thing you can make. What's, what's the first thing that you can start with? And so what I think is the easiest fermented food to start with or to make. Uh, the low maintenance one is kombucha. Okay, so kombucha is a drink and it's fermented and I have a glass of it right here. So one thing people like about it is it's bubbly or it can get bubbly. And so why, why I would suggest this one is because it's quite simple. You have a pot and you have three tea bags and a quarter cup of sugar and um, then you have your little starter culture and a liter of water anyway which is a SCOBY and stick it all together wait four days or more and you have kombucha to drink okay so you can make a second ferment which is a bit more complicated but you don't have to and that's adding something like raisins or I made, just made this one, ginger and apple, and um, you let that sit for another two days. Put it in the fridge and drink it. And so that's one way to get your probiotics in. Okay, uh, so it's quite simple. And you can do it once a week. There's no chopping. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Um, there's no common allergens really. Like um, there's no dairy. There's no starter culture based on dairy. Um, no other thing is it's just tea and sugar. So the sugar is for the bacteria to eat. And that's what produces the, the good bacteria for your belly. So uh, if you want to learn how to make kombucha, I've made a whole video series on it. And you can start from the very beginning. And yeah, um, you can look online as well for a SCOBY, which is the starter, and um, I got mine on eBay, and it's really great, this one, so I would, <laughs> I would suggest if somebody is selling them on eBay, um, they probably have a good, a good kombucha system going, and the SCOBY will probably be strong. The SCOBY is this, so yeah, I have one right here. I'm just, I'm just in the middle of making mine. So this funny looking thing. Ah, yeah, <laughs> that's the scoby. So that's that's all you need. Um, as If you know anyone who's making kombucha and you can ask around because you'll be surprised who is. Um, if you know anyone making it then you can just say can I have a scoby from your next batch because every time you make a batch so if you're doing it, doing it every four days every time then you get a new scoby so people have lots of them around okay so that's one thing to try and if you want to try kefir that's also very easy if you are a dairy eater dairy drinker because it's a drink and sauerkraut is probably the next step up okay We'll be talking about all sorts of these things. So just stick around. Subscribe to um, the email list, I would suggest, if you're just getting into this stuff. Okay, because we're going to have a whole series on healthy eating for beginners, as well as fermenting. And so for the people on that side of the list, we'll slowly get you in there <laughs> and get, get these things going. Okay, see you around. Uh